Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Atlas. My name is Larissa, if you're new to the channel. I hope that you're doing well. And in this episode, I will show you how to create a flow that triggers email actions. And uh, specifically, it will be targeting all users assigned to a specific profile. I'll be targeting Salesforce administrator's profile as I'm assigned to this profile and I should be receiving an email. Now I'll show you how to find a specific ID and how to apply this to your flow, how to get the right record, the right users that are part of this uh, profile and then send an email by creating a new record and uh, that could be creating a new account opportunity or orders and as always i will be in one of my trailhead playgrounds and i have selected contracts i have created it now let's go to setup and in setup let's find flows i'll start by creating a new flow click the button and the flow type will be record triggered flow I'll click create and the object I am using is going to be contract. All right, I will select a when a record is created or updated to, to trigger the flow. And uh, we will have as well entry, we will have a condition requirements. Now, if I go back to my contract, I have some fields here on the contract. We have start end date. Now, this is just an example, but if there is a field that you want to target specifically or any changes, then you can use that field when the field value changes. And all right, I could use actually this field because it's uh, very unusual and it targets special terms. And this is going to be something different. Let's say I'll be targeting special terms field. When special terms field is changed, is true. And when the field equals, and now I need to think of a value or a specific value when, why would special terms field activate my flow? And let's say I will, write down urgent. Now this is just an example, but if my special terms field contains word, word urgent, then I want this to trigger the flow and notify all, in my case, Salesforce administrators. And this can be any other profile, but I haven't got any other users in this playground. So I'll have to just test it with my user profile. And uh, every time record is updated or only when the record is updated to meet the condition. In one of my previous uh, videos, I explained that when we have operator is changed, then by default, we have the first radio button. Uh, I could actually just remove this is changed and simply leave it contains urgent and only when the record is updated to meet the condition requirements. So only when the special terms field is triggered and Salesforce detects that the text box contains word urgent, then then it will trigger this flow. We don't want to trigger this flow each time something happens on the record. And now I'll just select done. And I'm going to go from auto layout to free form. Now we have our, now we have our condition set. And the next thing would be, so when we are changing this text box, we're changing this text box and it is going to, con it is going to uh, contain wor word urgent. Then next I need this flow to get records. I need this flow to get Salesforce administrator profile users. And the object is going to be user object. There it is. Now user. And what I want, the filter, the filter for the filter condition for this request is going to be um, record. is going to be so user 
user profile ID equals Salesforce profile ID that I need to find here in setup. And we have all these profiles and uh, I haven't got any users here, but I can still use the system administrator. Now, if I open system administrator profile and I view all users, I have my profile here and usually each profile has at least two, three, four, five, maybe even 10 users. And if you are trying to collect all managers that are in this profile, then this will be very useful for you to collect these users. Just grab this ID. After 2F, the profile, or in this case, system administrator profile is going to begin. It's going to be this one. And you copy, then you go return back to your flow. And again, we are using user object and condition requirements should be profile ID equals my system administrator, my system, system administrator profile ID. Now, ideally, this is going to select everyone, all users who are part of this profile ID. And uh, that, will, that will be me. And do you want to collect all records or only the first one? You want to collect all records, but I do have only one person there. However, still you can collect all records. With how to store record data, I'm going to go with the third option, choose fields and assign variables. Now scroll down and create a record collection. Go with new resources and the resource type will be variable. And the data type of this variable is going to be a record. We want to collect all user records and the API name will be admin users. Check the box to allow multiple values and the object type is user. Select user and click done. Now we have a record collection. Now select fields that you want to store in this variable. And for me, that's going to be email address. I need to send email to the right Salesforce administrators. And I want to as well add their first name in the email body. Uh, first name. If you want to add any more fields, you can just add more and then click done. Now we are going to Con connect the node with the get Salesforce administrators. So as we're getting Salesforce administrators, we also need to add this loop and we have to loop through each user in this profile. And let's go to name it as find each user and scroll down. Which collection variable are we going to select? The one that we have just created and that's all admin users. And we can specify as well the direction of the, this collection. And the first item to last item is just fine. I'm going to click done. And now we're going to link the node with the find each user. So we have Salesforce administrator user records. And now let's find each user. And now send each user. Next, we are going to add this, this action that is going to send the email. And uh, in these actions, you have email actions as well built in this flow. We're not going to use any email templates, but we'll be building one. We'll be building one in the flow. I've selected email action. And now we have this one single send email. We have to label it. And then we have to fill in this the, these value fields and options. I'm going to label it as send email. Now set input values. I'm going to create a body in, in the flow. And you can use in these resource types, you can use text template and you can just create your body. You don't have to create any email templates. Give it the API name, then the body, fill in. And I want to make it more personal. And I also want to select their first name, the one that I just collected. And all right, find each user. We should have here the name. So we have first name. It has actually collected all fields, which is also good and, and um, useful. We have hi, first name. 
So that's going to be the Salesforce administrator. And in this example, that should be my name. We have Hi, Darissa. And now I can think about the body and which field do I want to add to this email template. And let's say, so the idea is that if this if the special terms field has, has a word urgent, I want to trigger the flow. So let's say a contract was created, updated, and I can specify which contract as well. So here I can use, I can actually highlight contract and add the link. And the link would be our contract URL, just paste it, save it for now, but we will have to amend it because now we have a specific contract in here. And right here on the side, I'm going to find the record. So we have contract record and ID. All right, how to go again. We have a contract record and ID. Now I can find this is our record current contract ID. Now, again, if I double click on this URL and replace the one that I have as an example, that's just a specific contract. If I trigger with this URL, it will be always opening the same contract, but I want to open only the one that triggered the flow. So I'm replacing the contract ID with record ID and saving it. Now we have highlighted as well the contract. And if a Salesforce administrator wants to find the contract, they can just double click and it will redirect them to Salesforce contract. A contract was created, updated. So I'll rename this to a contract was um, a contract with special terms was created or updated. And I can even write here special terms and find the special terms. So we have record and then we have, we have record and special terms. And we can just drop this box here, the field and all the special terms will appear. And if it is really urgent, then it will be really great. Instead of just going into this contract, you will actually have special terms field already in this email template. And uh, I'm going to delete this one. Now we have hello name, a contract with special terms was created or updated. And all right, this is just an example, but obviously the wording can be, it's completely up to you. I'm not going to think too much about the, the body right now. And then we have special terms. I just want to show you how you can use these tools, how you can link stuff. Um, you can also potentially add screenshots and that you can even color this into a, a different color. Let's say special terms is going to be in red. So my special terms will be in red just to highlight the urgency. And uh, I will click done. And next I'm gonna move to the subject. And again, we are creating a new resource for the subject and uh, we are selecting text template and uh, giving it an API name. And I'll just give it email subject. And with the email subject, you can again pull fields from your Salesforce record. And let's say, contract with special contract with special terms urgent and uh, I can also add the contract number in here and find the resource find the record find the record again and uh, Let's add contract number. So we'll have, we're going to have contract number with special terms, urgent. All right, uh, click done. And I'll just save it for now, but I do want to change email subject 
Uh, I don't want it as rich text. I want it as plain text because our formatting is not going to read our subject line. It is only going to read the body. And then you would have those P's for paragraphs. All right, so that's that's good. That's done. Oh, no, that's actually not done. <laughs> yeah, so next we have here as well, email addresses collection or email addresses, like separate email addresses. Now, if I select comma separated email addresses and I go scroll down, we are looping through each system administrator user's profile. So we can use that this section and select email. So we'll have email addresses, find each user's email address. And I'm going to skip this collection. Then rich text formatted body, we're going to toggle and we do want, we want to use it to true. Yes, we're setting it to true. Sender address and the sender user who's triggering the record, user email address will be the sender address. However, there's a way to create a universal sender address for your org. I'll just click done and I'm going to select the send email for each item in the collection. And again, I'm going to loop back to the user. So we want to send to each user. It has to go through this loop in order to send email separately to each system administrator and these individual email address uh, emails with their names on it. And I do want to open again my email body and I want to get rid of these spaces because I know these email, email body is going to generate some spaces. And if I keep my spaces, it will be just very long. Now I'll save it as this and click done, save this. Now this is an example, send emails to admins and I'll just write special terms and click save. And now I can also activate it. All right, so let's activate it. And uh, I go, I will go back to my contract, I have selected when a record is created or updated. So I don't really have to create any new contracts. I will just refresh the page and I'm going to use special terms box and fill in some text and special terms. This is very urgent. Yeah, so here you can see it worked. It is just in my junk email, at least in, in Outlook. Um, it will really depend from email server to email server. So that's something to look into. But here you can see contract number, which equals the contract number I have in here and the subject line that I created in the flow. And uh, it came from me as I triggered it, but also there's a the user who is creating or updating the record will be the sender and uh, the body we have hi first name and the contract the special terms was created updated special terms this box that i create that i wrote in salesforce now if i select contract link and uh, wait it should redirect me as well to this contract and here it is it has redirected me if i wanted to revisit and here we have this is very urgent, special terms. So as you can see, the flow worked. I hope that you found this flow useful and maybe even learned something new. Definitely feel free to go and apply this in your sandboxes and in your production orgs. And maybe this will be a really good way how to send email addresses and notify your internal users based on their profile IDs. And thanks again for getting this part in the video. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.